Hey, this is Phil Kelman. I'm Hayden, and this is Cinematography. So this is a fantastic technique that can add a unique touch to your storytelling or help emphasize a particular moment. First thing you want to do is put your playhead on that frame that you want to freeze. And you can do this one of two ways. Select the clip, right click, and select change clip speed. And right here, you can hit freeze frame, change. And it freezes the frame. The other way you can do this is selecting the clip and clicking R on your keyboard, and that will bring you right back to this menu. The great thing about this is once it freezes the clip, you can actually drag it out, and the whole time it's going to be frozen. But what if you want to add a little more flair to your freeze frame? How about making it feel like the video smoothly transitions into that frozen moment? For this, we'll need to animate the clip into a freeze frame, and just like before, put your playhead on the frame that you want to freeze, and this time, we'll select the clip, and I'm gonna hit Control or Command R, from here, we'll just click this drop down arrow and select freeze frame. And if we scroll in, it is frozen and we can play it back, video freezes and plays again. Now the great thing is we can take this top little playhead and stretch it out so it stays frozen for however long we want it to. While it looks pretty cool, we can make it even better. So to do that, right click on the clip, come to retime curve. And right here we can click these dots where it has the keyframes and we'll select this little curve icon and we'll do it with the next one. And we could play with it. I'll stretch it out a little bit more. Do that one as well. And then come over to your inspector. If you don't see it, you just come right up here, click inspector. And we're gonna go down to our retime and scaling. And from here, retime process. Drop that down optical flow, motion estimation, enhanced better. Now when we play it back, you're gonna see it slowly move into a freeze frame and then slowly move back in to regular speed. I really love using this technique, especially if you're working on some VFX shots and want to have something kind of look like Quicksilver from the X-Men. But whether you're freezing a moment for dramatic effect or adding a unique touch to your video, this technique can elevate your storytelling game. And if you found value in this, go ahead and leave a like on this video and check out this video popping up right here that the algorithm thinks you'll like to watch next. Until next time, off with it, Zane.